them, a 6 meter simply supported beam is loaded with a 12 kilonewton meter concentrated clockwise moment placed 2 meters from the left support and a concentrated load of 24 kilonewton located 2 meters from the right support. The flexural rigidity of the beam is AI. So first, uh, calculate the slope of the tangent at the left support, determine the rotation at the right support, uh, find the deflection at the point of application of the concentrated moment, and fourth, what is the maximum deflection of the beam? Okay, so let's draw no, our simply supported beam. Here is our beam, and we have our le left support, no? Pin, ah, pin. That, that's pin connection. And we have our roller here. The total length of the beam is 6 meters. We have our 6 meters here, no? So in total, this is 6 meters. At, okay, let's divide this by 3. So this will, this will be 2, 2, and 2. And we have our first load here, concentrated moment with a 12 kilonewton meter, no? Uh, this is our clockwise rotation, 12 kilonewton uh, meter. And at this point, 2 meters from the right support, there is a concentrated load of 24 kilonewton. Okay, so we have now our figure. So first, no, uh, before we proceed to the double indication method, let's first solve the reaction at A so that we can cut through this section and get values from RA here. No? So by summation of moment at A, um, uh, let's uh, summate moment no, at B. So our RA will be multiplied by 6 plus 12. And that is minus 24 times 2 is equals to 0. So our reaction at A will be, this will be 6 kilonewton. Okay, so we can now proceed no, in the creating the equation no, of the moment. Okay, so when we create the equation of the moment, uh, we may we want to make sure no, that all the loads are are covered no, by the equation. So if this is our beam, we gonna we will cut in this section and we will sum moment. No. So okay, let's let, let just continue to this. Okay, so we have our RA here, RA. And say, no, the length from the first support to the point of uh, reference or to the point of uh, section or cut, cut section is x. No? And we have our moment here. Moment, this is 12. We have our 24 kilonewton. So in uh, this is 6. Okay. So we will sum moment at this point. No? So Ra, so that's 6 times x. Then that's plus 12 kilonewton meter. And uh, we will introduce here a moment arm now. Uh, that's x minus 2, but we will raise it to 0 since uh, moment has no uh, moment arm since it is the moment itself. Okay. Next is the 24 kilonewton load. That's minus no? since its rotation is from here. This will be uh, 24 times x minus 4. Okay. So let's equate this to the moment. Moment. All right. So let's 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 arrange this one no? so that it can be visible. Okay, so we can now, M, this is M over EI, so to be exact, no? M over EI. Okay, so we want to integrate this one up. So this will be integration of m over ei will be uh, integration of 6x, no? That's uh, that's 3x squared plus 12 times x minus 2. So this will be raised to 1 minus 24 over 2 uh, since uh, we will integrate, no? From x to the second power, x minus 4 raised to second power plus the constant 1, okay? Ooh. Is it still clear? Uh, let's Let's... Rewrite this one, sorry, for this one. Okay, so let's uh, integrate no, this moment. So the integration of the m over ei will be uh, x, no, x equals 2, uh, raised to 2 plus 1 plus 1, that's 2. So th this will become 3x squared plus the integration of 12 times x minus 2. Since this is 0, this will be plus 1. So this will become 12x minus 2 raised to 1. Then minus integration of 24 times x minus 4, this will become 24 divided by 2 times x minus 4 raised to the second power. So that's 12. 12 times x minus 4 raised to the second power plus the constant, c1. Okay, next, do uh, the double integrate the moment. Integrating this, no, first integration. This will become uh, 3x squared, no, if you integrate that, that will become x cubed plus 12 raised to, divided by 2. So that's 6 times x minus 2 raised to the second power minus 12 divided by 3. So that's 4. 12 divided by 3, so that's minus 4 times x minus 4 raised to third power plus integration of c1. That's c1x plus the constant 2. Okay, so this will be our 
uh, equation. No? So this is our equation. Now we will set uh, boundary conditions for the values. No? Okay. Next is boundary conditions. Conditions. By setting boundary conditions at x no, in the deflection, at x is equals to 0, our deflection no, is 0. So by setting y, no, by setting y, this is y, no, our deflection. So 0 is equals to x or 0 squared, 0 cubed pala, minus 6. And uh, a rule, no, if, if x is less than the the a, so say, say this part is a, uh, this is regarded, uh, this is neglected na po. So that this value will be 0, then this one, x is less than 4, so therefore 0 na din po yan. Min, uh, okay. Minus 0 plus c1 times 0 plus c sub 2. Means our c2 here is 0. Uh, we have our x, no? Our uh, x is equals to 6. Our y is equals to 0. Okay, by substituting x, no? With all the x in this equation, that's the double integration of m, or it's y, no? So that's x is equals to 6 cubed plus 6 times 6 minus 2 squared minus 4 times 6 minus 4 squared uh, plus c1 times 6. Our c1 here should be negative 140. That's negative 140 over 3. Okay? So we can now uh, no, use these constants in our equations here, these two equations. Let's copy this one. Setting c1 no, as negative 140 over 3, and this will be negative 140 over 3 times x. Okay? So for question 1, so this will be our general equations uh, for the slope, and this is for the deflection. Okay, so for the first question, calculate the slope at the tangent at the left support. So for the first question, number one, a tangent po at the left support, no? So it is when uh, y prime at x is equal to zero. So by using this equation, no? Substitute, let us substitute uh, zero to x. So our value of y prime should be, this will, zero, will be zero, this will be zero, zero. So our y prime should be negative 140 over three, no? Uh, and that's our over EI. This will be over EI. Okay. And second question, uh, our our rotation, no? Here's determine the rotation at the right support. So simply still the the slope. So that's y prime at x is equals to six. So our answer here will be uh, y prime, no, is equals to. 3 times 6 squared plus 12 times 6 minus 2 minus 12 times 6 minus 4 squared, no, minus 140 over 3. Same. So our slope at the right support will be 184, that's 184 over 3 over EI, okay? Third question, what is the deflection at the point where the moment is applied now? Here, deflection at the point of application of the concentrated moment. So we are asked for the deflection y when uh, x is equal to 2. So by using the deflection formula, this one, uh, let us substitute 2 through the excess. This will be 0. This will be 0. So our left values will be uh, 2 cubed. 2 cubed minus 140 over 3 times 2. Okay? So that's negative 85.3. So our y here is negative 85.33 over ei. Okay? So that's for question number 3. And question number 4. What is the maximum deflection of the beam? Okay? Uh, maximum deflection, of course, no? when our slope is zero so when we find the value for when x is equal uh, when y sorry our maximum let's repeat, for the question number four we were asked to the maximum deflection okay maximum or y max sorry we were asked for the y max okay uh y max occur no when our slope no is zero at y prime is equals to zero so when y prime is zero we can get value for x okay so by using this, no, equating this to zero, uh, we can get value for x for this one. Okay, so let's copy this. Okay, equating this to zero. 
we have our value for x here is equals to 3.389 3.389 meters uh since i'll be checking no one of the uh, term here uh says uh one of the term here there is x no or oh, there is x which is less than of a so meaning we have to recalculate the value of x without including this uh, value okay so our equation will become Okay, so this will be our equation for recalculations. Okay, so our x should be 3.249 meters from the left support. Okay, so we can now substitute this x no, to get the maximum deflection. So y max uh, will be... Okay, by using the deflection formula, our resulting value for y max is negative 107.96 EI. Okay, sorry, that's this is over EI. Okay, so this is our final answer for the questions. Now, I hope uh, it helps. Bye.